we've installed a second bed and a second leg assembly in this one and now this thing is really long. Right now I've got 112 inches between centers on the lathe. I've got one of the 20 inch extensions, a second bed, a second lathe, and because I'm turning a long column like this, I've actually added a second banjo and tool rest here. And that's really helpful when you're turning long pieces to be able to work back and forth. You can see how this can go. We can actually add a third one or another one of the 20 inch extensions on that end if I'm doing something a little bit longer. But at 112 inches, that'll handle most, most uh, porch columns. All right, so now you've seen what it looks like as a long lathe. You can see how serious the 1836 lathe is with these steel beds on it and with all the extensions that we've got. I'm going to go ahead and remove this one and we're going to get back to a standard configuration and we're going to show you one more use for the multi-function extension. That'll be our front mount here and then we'll go on to a few more accessories. Let me go ahead and break this down and we'll get back to a stock configuration.